linear magnifications. Uh. Linear magnification is like this. Uh, okay. For example, so let's say uh, this is the object. Okay. Let's say the object is two meter, and let's say this is the image, and the image is uh, let's say uh, six meter. Let's say yeah. Uh, let's say six meter. So linear magnifications. Uh, m is equal to six divided by two, which is equal to three. Three. Yeah. Uh. So what is linear magnification? Linear magnifications is the quantity to tell. Uh, how much the image is bigger or smaller than the object. Like for example, six meter is three times bigger than two meter, right? So the linear magnification is three. So linear magnification is how much the image is bigger or smaller than the object. Okay, if it's diminished, uh, small, then it'll be smaller. Uh, okay, smaller like uh, uh, the linear magnif magnification can be like 0 0.5, 0 0.2. Uh, uh, if the linear magnification equals to one means sa means same size. Eh? If a uh, linear magnification bigger than one is uh, magnified, smaller than one is diminished. Okay, so the equation for uh, linear magnification is this: uh, m. This is a linear magnification equals to h i over h o. H i is the height of the image, and h o is the uh, height of the object. So we take the height of the image divided by the height of the object then we can get linear magnifications now we can also use the image distance over object distance uh, to get v over u because these two if we draw a line here draw a line here, these two are similar triangle similar triangle if for similar triangle hi over ho will be equals to v over u uh. Okay, so this is the equation for uh, linear magnifications. Okay, now when you you use this uh, equations to solve the problems, uh, you can use m equals to h i over h o to find your linear magnifications. You can use your m equals to v over u to find linear magnifications, or you can use h i over h o equals to v over u uh, to find. Uh, the the height of the image, the size of the image, or the v or u or h o okay, because sometimes uh, because I combine these three together, so students don't know how to write the equations. Uh. So you can either write it this way, write it this way, or write it this way, okay, to solve the problem. Example five. Okay, so this answer, 2 over 3f, okay. So there, there is no number given, okay? they just give you the symbol f, so you can give your answer in f. This question is quite hard actually, okay. Because they don't give you any number, they just tell you that the image is three times, three times larger than the object. So the size of the image uh, is three times the size of the object. Then we use the equation for linear magnifications. Uh, H i over H o we go to v over u. H i is three H o right? H i got three H o, so three H o over H o equals to v over u, and uh, we can cancel H o. Then we get uh, v over u equal to three. Uh, so v over u, u equal to three, or v equal to three u. Okay, v equal to three u. They want us to find the distance of the object because they ask us where should we put the object right so they want us to find the distance of the object uh, so therefore we substitute v uh, with 3u so from the Alain's equations uh, 1 over u plus 1 over u to 1 over f uh, so 1 over u plus 1 over now they tell us that the image is virtual virtual eh? so virtual then the image should be negative eh? negative 3u so even though from here we learn that v equal to 3u uh, but uh, they tell us that it's virtual so the v equal to negative 3u uh. from here okay 
uh, this one we should have same denominators so we must multiply by 3 multiply by 3 yeah? so 3 over 3 u minus 1 over 3 u equals to 1 over f uh, then we can straight away 3 minus 1 equal to 2 uh, so 2 over 3 u equal to 1 over f uh, move the f to the left hand side and 3 u to the right hand side so then we have 2 f equal to 3 u okay 2 f equal to 3 u or u equal to 2 over 3 f so this is the positions of the image Okay, so to tell us that there's a diverging lens forms an image one third the size of an object that is 24 cm from the lens. Uh, so 24 cm from the lens means that the object distance is 24 cm. Eh? Okay, object distance is uh, 24 cm. Determine the focal length of the lens. Uh, they want us to find the f. Okay, so the gain uh, the the size of the image is uh, one third of the size of the object. So uh, 3 hi equal to ho. So from the equations of linear magnification, hi over ho equal to v over u. Uh, ho equal to 3 hi. So we substitute ho equals to 3 hi. And then we cancel the hi. So v over u equal to 1 over 3. Yeah? So therefore, uh, u equal to 3 v or v equal to 1 over 3. v equal to 1 over 3. Because uh, we, we have uh, u. Uh, we have u. So we substitute v. Yeah? Okay, for the lens equations, lens equations, uh, 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f. Uh, okay, so we substitute v equal to 1 over 3. Okay, u. But you see, this is a diverging lens. Uh, okay, and uh, just now we learned that for diverging lens, all diverging lens, uh, the image form must be virtual. Okay. For diverging lens, there's just one type of image form, and the, the image must be virtual. So therefore, uh, your v must be negative u, uh, negative one over three u. So solve this uh, fractions, okay? So then this this become minus, uh, the plus become minus, and then this u we put it here, so it become a minus three over u equal to one over f. Okay, one minus three equal to negative two, equal to one over f. So therefore, this one move to the left hand side this one moves to the right hand side so negative 2 f equal to uh one uh equal to u eh? so f equals to u over negative 2 u is equal to 24 cm so 24 divided by negative 2 and uh, the answer is negative 12 cm okay negative 12 cm and this is reasonable because this is diverging lanes eh? diverging lanes and just now we learned that for diverging lanes uh the the focal length is negative eh? the f is negative so the f is negative okay so for diverging lens if, if you found your answer f equal to positive then there must be something wrong eh? and f is uh negative 12 cm 